Hi guys, welcome back to Gluten Free Guilt Free. After going gluten free, I used to miss a lot this fried chicken recipe. I tried multiple times to get that flavorful, spicy, greasy and crispy crust. And now finally cracked the recipe, which is gluten free and dairy free. Do you want to know the secret? Then let's get started. Now time to do the first brining. For that, I'm taking chicken pieces. So here, leg piece and two chicken thigh pieces, skinless. And then add buttermilk as required. Here, approximately 200 ml buttermilk I'm taking and then add salt. If you don't have buttermilk, you can just make it by adding lemon or vinegar to your milk. Then add hot sauce or chili sauce. So this hot sauce uh, contains vinegar which will further help in tenderize the chicken as well as the buttermilk. Both will help to tenderize the chicken. Give it a mix and make sure that the pieces are deep in the buttermilk and then wrap with the plastic wrap and store this in a refrigerator for minimum about 4 hours to 8 hours. This step is important for tenderize the chicken. Then next is making seasoned flour. For that, I'm taking all-purpose gluten-free flour. Then add corn flour, which is gluten-free. Then add spices as per your choice. Here, I'm adding paprika powder or red chili powder. Then black pepper corn crushed. You can also use white pepper powder then some garlic powder onion powder you can also use oregano thyme cumin powder cinnamon powder then give it a mix nicely blend everything and keep this flour ready so this is our seasoned flour blend and after four hours the chicken is brined now time to dip this brined chicken into the flour blend. This is the first coat. Coat the seasoned flour properly and it has to be coated from evenly from everywhere. Keep it on wire wrap if you have just to avoid flour sticking back again to the bottom. You have to be very quick in doing this. You can also use cooling rack. Here you can see from right hand I am taking out the brine chicken and from left hand I am coating it with the flour. So coat all the pieces, chicken pieces for the first time one at a time and keep it on the cooling rack or wire rack. Alternatively you can just put every all the flour then in a ziplock bag and you can put that chicken to the ziplock bag and you can just shake it. For the second coating, we will need egg. So here I am taking just one egg. Whisk the egg. Nicely. You can add same spice mix that we added previously. But here for that extra crunchiness, I am replacing powder with flakes. So here I have added garlic flakes. Then some onion flakes, then paprika powder or red chili powder, then some crushed black pepper corns, or you can use white pepper powder. Then give it a mix, mix everything well, and here our coating is ready. You can see, yeah. I forgot to add salt just add salt and mix it and here you can see the consistency now it is time to give the second coating to the chicken so same we have to keep on the left side the flour blend and on the right side egg now dip this chicken bees into the egg slurry 
working with one at a time, go to eat chicken peas in a beaten egg, dredge them in the flour mixture and coat it evenly with your left hand. Nicely coat it. Shake off the excess flour. Repeat this process for all the pieces and set them aside. Now the second coat is also ready. You can see already it is looking like our Kentucky chicken. Now it's time to deep fry. So here I'm taking oil. It's hot oil and just deep fry this chicken pieces. You can use any neutral oil and now fry this chicken on medium to low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. The thigh pieces and leg pieces take more time compared to the breast ones and do not flip it immediately. Give some time around after 5 minutes you can flip and fry from other bed like this and be very careful this oil will be hot fry until golden brown from all the sides so about seven minutes on each side because chicken need to cook from inside so we have to cook it on low to medium flame you can see now it is golden brown in color. So use tong to remove the chicken piece and remove it on a kitchen towel. It looks so yummy, crispy. Wow, look at that crust. Now repeat the process for the remaining chicken pieces and serve this hot with your favorite dip. Do try out this recipe. And do let me know how you like it. Please like, share and comment. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for yummy gluten free recipes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.